Chita Parsi is Executive Vice President at the Quincy Institute for Responsible Statecraft. He is the author of Losing an Enemy, Obama, Iran, and the Triumph of Diplomacy. And he joins us from Washington, D.C. Chita, good to have you with us. A lot of summits taking place right now. And, and for people trying to decode what this particular moment means, how significant is it that President Raisi is attending in person in Riyadh, what will you be paying most attention to? It is quite significant because it's been quite some time since an Iranian president visited Saudi Arabia. And of course, the two countries have been deeply at odds with each other for the last couple of years. And there's been a bit of a rapprochement just in the last year or so, partly thanks to the diplomacy of China. It will be interesting to see whether uh, the Saudi crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, and Raisi will be meeting in front of the cameras, having a handshake, etc. The, those images can end up becoming quite symbolic of what this moment means in terms of how Saudi and Iran are moving closer to each other. Uh, explain, explain to our viewers, uh, you know, in broad strokes, the Iran-Saudi relationship in terms of regional leadership and the current war and, and Iran's, you know, ties with Saudi, the tentative process of normalization uh, that was uh, underway. Is the relationship compromised by what is happening in the region right now? It certainly is complicating that relationship. On the one hand, these are two countries that both claim leadership in the broader Muslim world. Uh, the Iranians uh, have been trying to claim that leadership by opposing the United States, taking a much harsher position vis-a-vis -vis Israel. Saudi Arabia has claimed that leadership partly because it is the home of Islam, uh, its alliance with the United States. And, and these things are coming to, uh, uh, to the uh, surface right now, because I think from MBS's perspective, it is a bit dangerous for him right now to have too passive of a voice on the Palestinian issues, because he's afraid that he's going to be ceding leadership of that issue to Iran or to Turkey. Uh, Erdogan is another uh, leader in the region that also is claiming leadership. Um, let's talk uh, about uh, the United States and, and its uh, strategy of uh, deterrence, uh, which uh, seems from the get-go to have been focused on Iran and Hezbollah. Is it working, the containment strategy? Has, has the risk of regional escalation gone away? No, the risk of escalation has not at all gone away. At the same time, we haven't seen the degree of escalation uh, that could lead to a broader war. Now, whether that is because of the deterrence that the U.S. is putting in place by moving more troops there, or whether that is because at the end of the day, neither Hezbollah nor Iran actually want a major war is unclear at this point.